perfect bold color. Diving in again to my series for October, which is As Seen in Vogue. I'm having so much fun with this theme and inspiration this month, and it really just is all about the idea of taking Vogue magazine, the style epitome of inspiration, and taking different trend articles, editorials, ideas happening in Vogue right now, and then really just giving it the always play dress up twist which for me means soaking up the inspiration, sharing it with you all, heading to the thrift store, finding a few key pieces to really go along with the idea that I've seen in Vogue, going back to my closet, mashing together the thrift finds, my closet, and then actually styling up looks inspired by the ideas that I've seen in Vogue. And today we're in the studio and we're going to break down the next article that I've seen in Vogue. And I'm so excited about this one. It's definitely a departure for me from my maximalist dressing, though it's maximalist in its own way. And it's the article written by Madeline Fass, and the article is titled Brighten Up Fall's Muted Color Palette with a Vibrant Knit. So the idea is taking inspiration, especially from what was shown on Rose Fall 2022 show. And when you think of fall and you think of a fall color palette, you think of navies, tweeds, grays, a muted color palette, camel, brown, all of those amazing, yummy, warm autumnal tones. But then this idea that they're exploring in Vogue is popping in some vibrant colors, especially colorful knits. I love this whole idea. I don't always do especially a monochromatic or just a solid color because I think I like prints and craziness so much, but I, I do. I have fun with these moments here and there of really exploring color. And so I liked this idea that Vogue is presenting and especially using the inspiration of Row of mixing in white, camel, brown, gray, classic minimalist colors and then popping in really bright, bold, vibrant knits. I'm going to play around with this idea, not just stuck within knits or even the tailored looks of the row. They did a lot of amazing trousers and coats and all of that and I love it and I definitely will take some inspiration from that. But I think this is a fun idea to explore with just the color in general. So going to the thrift store, looking for items that are in that kind of fall color palette, but then also looking for some of the suggested vibrant colors that they mentioned. So specifically orange, purple, cobalt blue, bright Kelly green, just really playing with those pops of color mixed with the muted minimalist fall color palette. And I already went to the thrift store. I found a few key pieces. I brought them back to my closet and then created some ideas. And so we're going to jump into actually bringing to life this article from Vogue and giving it the always play dress up twist. This one's gonna be a little tougher to find just because you can't guarantee to find something in a certain color and limited to knits. But I'm gonna look for just vibrant hues to think about mixing with some of the fall color palette of uh, warm, caramel, camel, browns, things like that. And we'll just see what we can find. Also just play with what's in my closet as well. And I'm also gonna look for some of that color palette. So real quick, I did find these two vibrant colors. These are Ralph Lauren very punchy orange pants. This is an H&M sweater. I do really like it though because it feels like a shrunken knit and it's the perfect bold color. we're gonna try them on. Starting off with the fall color palette, I fell in love with these men's trousers. I might take them to the tailor and have them brought up a little bit, but I loved the color of them and I felt like this is gonna be perfect for the styling of mixing in this fall color palette with the vibrant knits. And in particular, I really love the H&M 
orange knit. It's so punchy and bright. I also just love the little details on the sides of the cutout and it's a perfect snug fit so I feel like it's going to be great for extra layering or if I want to put it underneath a button down like the row did or even just worn around my neck or my waist for a pop of color. I found this yummy grandpa cardigan in this creamy color and I absolutely love it. It has a great disco collar. It has really interesting little buttons. It fits absolutely perfectly where it's you know got that grandpa shape but also made to be worn in a fitted way and this again goes perfectly with these trousers and then that pop of starburst orange. This is a great little Y2K version of that khaki color that I'm looking for. I love the details on the bottom of the skirt in the embroidered flower pattern. I felt like this was a great way to play with the palette but also keep it light and airy. I think I like the idea of pairing this even with a light and airy piece to mimic the light and airiness of the skirt but I'm gonna find ways to pop in the color. And then last they tried on the orange Ralph Lauren pants. They were just too small and too short. It didn't feel like they were something I needed, so I moved on from them. I found a few treasures here, but I do think I wanna go to one more store and see if I can find a few more vibrant colors. I realize I don't have a lot of solid in my closet. I have a lot of prints, but I wanna see if I even just one more vibrant piece to mix in. So let's go to one more store. I'm in the next store and I'm gonna look for vibrant colors. I might only find one or none. I don't know, let's see. So not a great day at this Goodwill. I did come home with the purple little turtleneck I, I felt like it was a good um, fit for what I'm looking for because it's the fun, vibrant color, but then also it's gonna be great for layering. And I love the idea of adding some lavender into my caramel, you know, fun fall moment. So now it's just a matter of going back to my closet, pulling out what I have that goes along with this theme. And then as seen in Vogue, we're gonna take the inspiration of the article and we're gonna go to the studio and style it up. So I'll see you at the studio. For this first look, I was really inspired by the idea of taking these camel trousers that I thrifted and pairing them with my yummy dark chocolate leather shacket. I wanted to pop in the vibrant hues, so I paired it with the really great lavender turtleneck that I found at that second thrift store, but I wanted more color, and so I grabbed an old Kelly Green sweater that I've had in my closet forever. It's vintage Little Boys Lord and Taylor, which makes me love it even more. And then to keep within the fall color palette, I added my pointy toe rosebud pumps in a chocolate brown. I loved the contrast of the chocolate brown against that camel colored trouser. And for one little final touch, I added this beanie that I rolled into more of a sailor style. I felt like it gave it a little bit of an edge, felt more downtown cool with the beanie. And I would definitely wear this for a day of working or grabbing lunch with friends and maybe even a vacation in the city this fall, sipping on a pumpkin spice latte. For my second look, I was so inspired by the idea of doing a really cozy yet chic look within the palette. So I started off with the neutrals. I took this thrifted yummy grandpa cardigan that I absolutely fell in love with at the thrift store and I paired it with my 70s chocolate brown trousers that I've had in my closet for years. And then the other piece for my closet were these brown heeled loafer shoes and then that's where all the vibrant colors came in. I added the starburst orange sweater that I found at the Goodwill and then I took these cobalt blue socks that are from Swedish stockings and added them just there at the bottom of my feet for some more color. I wanted to do more with this look and so I was inspired by the idea of grabbing a scarf in a really bold yellow color and adding it to my head and that made me think of Jackie Kennedy Onassis 
in a fabulous chic look that I've seen her in. And with that, I grabbed my big square Zenny Optical shades in a emerald green for another pop of color. This felt perfect for a weekend look, feeling really cozy and chic, ready to take on the fall feels. For my third look, I wanted to style up an outfit with this amazing Y2K skirt. I loved the scallop and the seams running throughout it. And it was a little departure from the tailored looks before, but I wanted to create something romantic and at the same time really fall and stick within the palette that we're working with. So with that khaki color, I decided to pull out a sheer turtleneck and then I layered over it a chocolate brown camisole slip. What I ended up doing with that was taking two black ribbons and tying them at the side to give it some drape and some romance. And I loved the detail of the ribbons. It felt like a unique and fun way to style up this slip dress, which I think you could do with any slip dress. So there's a fun little styling tip for you. But from there, I needed to add the vibrant hues. And so with this one, I took some red tights and paired it with some gold strappy sandals from Cezanne. I liked the idea of a very strappy shoe with the red tights, giving just the right pop of color. And then for one little last dip into the vibrant color palette, I added this orange glittery schmittery. <laughs> I added this gold confetti little handbag. This felt perfect for an evening out, for a date night, for a fun party with friends. It feels really fall and festive and very celebratory. So that is it for As Seen in Vogue, styling up the fall color palette with some vibrant hues. I had so much fun doing this and really thinking in this way. It was a little bit of a departure for me to take more solids and combine them, but really you can still make them so statement and special, I think really with some of those added vibrant hues. It just instantly adds a level of interest and spark to your outfit. And there'll be a whole nother episode of As Seen in Vogue, so you'll see episode three coming out next week, and I can't wait to bring that one to life. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday, and also make sure you are subscribed to the weekly scoop email, and that comes out on Tuesdays. There's a link down in my video description below, and that really just gives you so much more inspiration we unpack more of these ideas and give you mood boards and share always play dress up club members who are wearing amazing really fun and inspiring outfits so definitely check that out the link is down below and finally always play dress up and I'll see you guys later bye